Thanks. I appreciate that. Stables. Looking for some stables, preferably real ones, or a mock-up of real ones. So that's the house. Bass running. Bass district ball.
to find the reference I'm looking for. Let's go for a description. Oh, whoops. Let's go with this. Mm. I don't care about tall herbs or any of this. Well, not right now, anyway. Um, I use the notebook because I, uh, it helps me to think about the story visually. Um, I'm not an artist by any means, but I write my script in Scrivener and then I have the visual aspect to play around with things, to see what I'm trying to do. Um, yeah, I can show you an example. Ooh. Page here. Uh, so these are the first issue, just like sketches. Some of them are a little faint, but I just like knowing what I'm trying to do visually. And it helps me to work out my pacing a lot better to do that kind of thing. I'll find what it wants, which doesn't matter. I'll just ignore it and move on. For example, um, to me, this seems kind of like a, like, these would be our bushes sort of thing, and then there's a freestanding building here, which would be, Which would be our stables. We got some columns because it's great. We got like Hyperanor in the bushes here. We're, like checking things out. And the first panel would be kind of an inside. Yeah, and this is all stuff that's up to the artist. Um, 
I'm not necessarily even going to show these to a potential artist. This is just my sort of visual sense trying to figure out how I should tell the story. Um, I don't have an artist as of yet. I'm not sure if I will have an artist. I'm doing this. I'm doing this for me to finish this kind of script to work to to work on and to practice. Um, I'm not super worried about it <laughs> getting it published or anything, but maybe, maybe. Skip that page for now. I really do need to update those default tag things. Um, Thinking here. I have to think about that page a little bit more.
sunset. wearing a cloak. This makes sense with the way it is. Um, no, not exactly. <laughs> I do really want to write comic and graphic novels in general, but no, uh, right now my primary professional focus is on, um, writing short stories because I'm not good at them and I want to be a lot better. So I've been working on that really hard and I have some stuff that I should be Submitting to some magazines in the very near future. Um, so there's that. Once I get a couple of those off my plate, I'm going to finish up some graphic novel stuff that I've been working on. And then, and then I don't know, we'll see. On stream, uh, I, I do a, I have kind of this thing, I don't know, well, it's, it's a real thing, but it's, I don't tend to work on the professional stuff on stream, like my professional stuff that I'm going to submitting to, to different publishers. Scripts is a different story. Scripts you can do because 
it's not the uh, intended medium, so you don't actually infringe on any reprint rights uh, or like first print rights by by having them up on like my website and all that. And I don't really want to write stuff and not put it up on the website. The whole point of having the website is to uh, provide resources for people to learn, you know? So a lot of stuff that uh, I work on off stream is different from what I work on on stream. On stream, uh, I think I have three open projects. Uh, so this mini series, which will be approximately four issues I think it's gonna be pretty much exactly four issues, maybe five tops. Um, a short story I started last week, which I think will be good. Like I did uh, some flash fiction stuff. I think it'll be good for a short story, so I'm gonna work on that. And I have an outstanding, like mini, mini, mini thing for Durrani, I think is everything. But yeah, I try and do a lot of exercises. I try and do a lot of like different stuff every day to, to push myself creatively. Oh, I forgot to add the sound effect. My bad. You know what? This would be better if I did it. This makes much more sense. Because then on this page, we should do. Um, yeah. That makes more sense. <laughs> Yeah, no, um, my website is unfortunately out of date. <laughs> uh, I need to, to fix it up with some of the other stuff I've worked on on stream. But yeah, no, this is, this is not my only project. This is just, uh, this is what I'm working on this week. I took a few weeks off from working from issue one. I actually started this as a short story when I originally started the stream, so almost a year ago. Um, and I worked on the short story and I worked on some other stuff. Uh, I finished a, uh, on screen I finished a comic book, like a, a sick, like a single issue one shot. I finished a, a film script. I did a couple of game design things, one for a competition, one for uh, fun, just to try out some interactive fiction stuff. Uh, yeah, uh, the game's not done, but I don't think I'm gonna work on it anymore. It's It's got too much to work on and I'm not good enough at game design to really fix it <laughs> at the moment, but it was a cool idea. So I'll keep it around and available for people to look at. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, because then we see the setting sun on page one and then on page three, the sun goes is down.
Yeah, it's an interesting idea. I don't know. It's one of those things that I'm still trying to figure out. I've been doing this uh, since last May. And I don't know. It's hard. It is. It's very, it's very difficult. Um, the whole idea of Twitch is a sort of... is that it's an interactive medium that in audience engagement is important. It's part of what makes Twitch Twitch. I mean, we're having a conversation right now, so I'm engaging my audience, right? Like that's part of what we do. And as a writer, that can get difficult. You can get lost in your own head. I know that when my chat's not really bumping, I can just be very focused and quiet because um, that's the way I am. But that being said, I think you can have conversations here that you can't have just working on something by yourself. You can't have those extra sets of eyes that'll notice typos, that'll notice weird things, like weird phrasing, that'll ask questions of what you're doing. Um, it can be. It... it it can be. I don't know. I think it depends on on the streamer. Me and uh, my good friend Stevie Ray Drawn, um, uh have been discussing a lot lately. You know, it's it's a, it's a balance you have to find of productivity versus engagement. So productivity versus entertainment. Um, figuring out where where you want that balance um, I tend to go a little bit more towards productivity over entertainment that's just me uh, I like a, I like that feeling of accomplishing things of finishing things uh, so I try and shoot for that as much as possible but that being said I'm not above the odd 30 minute anime explanation to someone's question or you know talking about what I'm doing or, or showing you know, talking about camera angles and talking about all the different elements that go into this and showing off my process. Um, because process is, is an ongoing kind of question, right? You're always adapting. I'm always looking for uh, something that will streamline my process, make it that much faster so that I can get to my goal quicker, so that I can do the things I need to do, so I can do more of it. Uh, there's a few. There's a... There's a pretty, it's a small community, but there is a community. Uh, Erica Drayton streams all the time. Uh, she's probably one of the most consistent that I've seen. Uh, Smishmosh22, uh, she's a screenwriter. She streams fairly regularly. I haven't seen her on lately, but I'm usually not around when she streams anyway. Um, so that's kind of a thing. Um, I don't know. I don't follow a ton of writers on Twitch. I do follow some. I spend a lot of time with artists, like visual artists, and, uh, and people like that. I find it's good to broaden your horizons in that way of sort of, you know, you can learn a lot from watching an artist do what they do. That That's totally applicable to writing. Uh, I actually get a lot of in, like a lot of my process influences actually from uh, journalism and also from programming. I take a very programming a very programmer style approach to the to what I do. But we're all different. We all we just gotta do what works, right?
I am probably one of the most consistent writing streamers. I don't know exactly. There are many that are. Um, but I stream every week. I've streamed every week for the last... Uh, I think I'm at 38 weeks straight or something. Since I started last May, I've missed two, no, three weeks. Um, I missed one for a convention I went to back in May, and I missed uh, two over the Christmas holidays. Because I wasn't going to stream on New Year's Day and Christmas Day. <laughs> it wasn't going to happen. But yeah. Oh, I see. That's interesting. Well, I mean, I'm the type of person who needs to, who tries out their ideas by saying them out loud. Um, that definitely helps with this. I do that in real life. Like, I like just putting things down. I like testing things. I'm not afraid to change entire structures if I have to. Um, and maybe streaming could help. Streaming, I found, uh, helps me be consistent and productive in my writing. At the very least, there's one day a week where I'm actively writing for a solid three-hour chunk. Uh, I mean, obviously, I do more than that. Uh, but for that chunk, I'm being productive. And what that means for me is that means that I get a feeling of accomplishment. Like, I get, I get a feeling like I'm not... I don't, I don't get that feeling of slacking or procrastinating or any of that stuff. And uh, that helps me go into tomorrow and write more tomorrow. And that helps me go into Tuesday and write more Tuesday. Like it just, it's an ongoing thing. And the more you do it, the more consistently you do it, uh, the better you'll be at it. The easier it'll be to just keep going. Not perfect, but it will work.
Where is my PDF for Fear the Siren issue one? I have this ongoing question of how much narration do I want in my comics? And I'm never really sure. Which is weird. But it is what it is, I suppose. I don't have any in the first issue. Maybe I should. Maybe I'm not as finished that first issue as I thought. <laughs> I mean, that's the constant curse of being a writer, right? Like, as soon as I look at the old draft, I'm immediately like, that's a mistake, that's a mistake, that's a mistake. Yeah, uh, I totally agree. The thing is, is that, well, yeah, I think there's all of, like, four lines of dialogue in the entire first issue, <laughs> which maybe is a mistake. This one, we're going to have a lot more, though, though it'll be, you know, page six or so. It doesn't matter more of, like, I kind of want to put this section here into a narration. Yeah, you know what? I will. <laughs> yeah, for sure. We're gonna go with a slave.
Cool. Stream close up. Don't ignore those updates. They're from like a, a game that I have installed. They're just not useful. I also, well, I have system sounds turned off, but I don't know why that one never turns off. Those notification ones. Oh, there we go. Quiet hours. This is page two, right? So I have like a one panel. Go back to this. Yeah. Let's see what this kind of style panel is like. kind of imagine his arms are crossed. But you know. And then there's like a, actually there's something like this would be really good. Sort of the other side. Then you got your slave. It enters sort of a two shot, so paranoid, slave, can't draw, so it's all good. There's like a, an extreme close up here, so there's like a handoff with the scroll. Hyperna reading. And then 
and I think I think this would be like a I think we just do a close up on the scroll itself. I should take another break. I'm gonna finish this panel and then I will. Do, uh, do like one of those old school translators note. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm going to take another 10 minute break uh, and then I'll be back and I'll keep working on this for about another 40 minutes or so after. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, break time. <laughs> 